Okay, YouTubers, especially you guys that are concerned about your Second Amendment rights. Uh, just yesterday, I saw this uh, art, uh, little uh, write-up in one of the blogs. It was a CNN report about some kids in uh, Oregon who were uh, uh, in a theater. They went to go see The Hobbit, and uh, as one of the kids sat down in his uh, chair, a fully loaded uh, semi-automatic pistol dropped to the floor, apparently loaded uh, with one in the chamber and uh, safety off. Thank God the kids were uh, savvy about uh, firearms and knew how to handle the gun safely. Uh, but here's the thing, how convenient that a case like this would come up so close to uh, a time when there's all this rhetoric in uh, in our government uh, regarding um, you know our Second Amendment rights. And it just seems too convenient. How many years have people had open carry and concealed carry uh, permits and weapons, and you know we never hear one story about some idiot losing their gun in a theater and now very conveniently uh, we have this case how convenient talk about a false flag you know we really need to find out who this gun you know who who owns this gun and what the hell he was thinking because I wouldn't put it past this guy that he planted that gun there you know, he planted that gun I, I wouldn't be surprised just to it's this whole case is just too convenient too damn convenient just as we're boiling about Second Amendment rights that a case like this would come up first of all all I can say is thank God those kids were savvy about guns they knew how to handle the gun nobody was hurt but this asshole left the gun loaded safety off when that gun hit the floor it could have went off this is an automatic, wet, semi-automatic weapon. Probably three or four pounds of pressure on that trigger would have caused it to go off, or the hammer. I don't know exactly what kind of gun that was, but just dropping a gun to the ground could make it go off. How convenient. We really need to, to look at this closely. I'm going to play this little video they have here. Your favorite food's fighting you. Fight back fast with Tums. Calcium-rich Tums goes to work in seconds. Nothing works faster. Tums, 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 Tums. And new at 6. Police are looking for the owner of a gun that junior high kids found. It was loaded. It was ready to fire. They made the discovery this morning inside of a movie theater in Tillamook, and police are praising the way that those kids handled this very dangerous situation. KPTV's Ben Singer joins us live from that theater now with details. Ben? And Wayne, 125 7th graders from Tillamook Junior High came to the theater this morning for a reward trip. That's how the superintendent described it. Because of their good grades, they earned a trip here to see The Hobbit. They never got to see that movie, at least not right away. They did end up seeing it a little later on, but early on they were dealing with the gun. Levi Crabtree and Colton McKinney were among the first boys to enter one of the rows in the middle of the theater. They say once Colton pulled down his chair, they heard a sound of metal hitting the floor and then noticed it was a gun. Levi immediately notified a school staffer and police were called. The students never touched it. It was reported to police around 9.15 this morning. When police arrived, they collected a gun, found it to be a small caliber semi-automatic pistol. Police say there was a round in the chamber and the safety was off. I asked the boys how they knew what to do and about their first reactions. Was it real? Is it loaded? Is there anything like, is it from a crime scene? I'm a Boy Scout and uh, me and him have taken the hunter safety class. One of the rules is you don't, if you don't know, treat all guns as if they're loaded. Our students got there and then our students reacted exactly like we would hope they would and that is they, they recognized that it's a gun, they recognized that they needed to stay away, they contacted the teacher immediately. 
Yes, the gun was recovered by police. The students did get to sit here and watch their movie. We're told one student wanted to go home because he was upset, and parents were notified by an automatic messaging service about what took place here today. Now, police tell me that the students were the first group of people in the theater today, so they believe that the gun was left there sometime last night. That person could face charges, though they have no idea at this point who the owner of the gun may be. Live in Tillamook, Ben Singer, the 6 o'clock news. Yeah, they have no idea who the owner of the gun is. This guy apparently has a concealed carry weapons permit, yet his gun is is not uh, is not registered. And there you go. If, if you know, if this guy is not responsible enough to register his gun, I mean, he could be any idiot with an illegal gun. So you know, this whole case just doesn't make sense. They're gonna I guarantee you they're gonna use this as ammunition. Uh, you know, people are losing their guns in theaters, and kids are picking them up. You know, uh, there's something not right about this case. Something extremely not right with this case. You guys think about it. You know, we're at we're at a crossroads here. We're getting our our constitutional rights taken away left and right. NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, takes away our right to to a trial by jury. Uh, the Patriot Act. Now they're going for our Second Amendment rights. What's next? You've got the the TSA, or Homeland Secu Security buying uh, hollow point bullets in the billions. Open your eyes, people.